What is going on guys? Baz here from Becca Boy, back again with another video. Today we are going to be unboxing the PSA uh, December sub. It finally came through, so let's jump straight into it. But before we get into it guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. Don't forget to tap the notification bell so you see all of our latest stuff. But let's get into it. Just gonna start off with my own cards, Oop. and then moving on to the other punters. All right, so first up, this was a bit of a mixed bag. Obviously, like I said, um, there was just a lot of different all basketball cards, but it was yeah pretty pretty cool to see a lot of diversity with different players, uh, a lot of Kobe's, LeBron's, Mike's. And some just some different stuff as well. So we'll kick this off. I think this is an Andrew Bogut Bowman. Patch Bowman. Rookie card. As you know, I've been on a bit of a a bit of a uh, collecting punt with with Andrew Bogut, getting a lot of his rookie cards. Some of them come back in really good condition. So I've been trying to keep that going. And we've got a near mint eight. Not a bad start there for the patch. Welcome to the show. Is that the, yeah, it is the Bowman, 2005 Bowman. All right. What we got here? We got the Shaq. Oh, this is the League Leaders rookie card. Um, I think this is the fifth anniversary edition. So the gold stamp ones from Hoops, 93. Pretty cool. This is the uh, larger one, O'Neal Matumbo Blocks League Leaders. What do we get? A near mint eight. Not bad, not bad. All right, Kobe Bryant, I think this is, is this a Z-Force? This is the 97 Z-Force. Um, these Z-Force cards look really, really cool. Um, all right, so what do we get here? We've got a near mint eight. Not bad, not bad for his second Z-Force. Something a bit different again, Scotty Pippen. This is the Members' Choice Stadium Club from 93, when Scotty was in his prime. What do we get? Mint 9, not bad. So you can see there the member's choice stamp down the bottom. It's got the little gold hollow. The, uh, the, the more rarer version of the member's choice. Excellent. Oh, sorry. And what do we have here? This was the Minute Bowl second year 87 Fleer Minute Bowl. And I just mucked that up because I forgot to flip that one over. So we got a, a different surprise. And we got a near mint eight. Not bad. And uh, if if you remember that card, someone posted the it was a mint nine, I think, um, or a gem mint ten that sold for about three grand or something like that. So that's uh, I decided to pick one of those up. There's not many of those around. There really isn't, um, which is makes it a bit sort of more rarer. Uh, I think his son is now playing in the NBA. Anyway. Um, we'll move on to Chris's cards. What do we, Chris put in a whole lot of prism and uh, mosaics and stuff like that. Just some, some base stuff, but it was really cool. Uh, this is the Kobe Bryant. I think this is his, this is his last prism. Um, and what do we get? We got a mint nine. Not bad. Very nice. They always look really, really cool. What have we got? Jimmy Butler. This is what looks like a 20, 2019 or 2020 mosaic. Prism mosaic. And a mint nine. The mosaics look so cool. They're just so shiny. Jimmy Butler. Buckets. Oh, look at this. You get a friend for life when you're a Larry Bird fan. All right. Well, we get a bit of LB. I think this is the same one as the Kobe's uh, year, the 2019, I think it is. And we got a mint nine. Nice. Oh, and look at this. He's got a bit of taste here. Going straight into the Magic Johnson prism of the same year again. So let's keep this going. Gem Mint 10, first one of the book. Nice. Very good. And then into, this guy likes his 90s. 
We've got Hakeem Olajuwon, same prism set again, 2019, and another gem mint. Outstanding. And then into Dennis Rodman. I think this is prism again. Same same uh, series prism. And another gem mint. That is three gem mints in a row, uh, followed up by, I think, three nines. So that was, that was pretty cool. And what have we got here? This is a Kevin Garnett. Panini Prism, I don't know what type. Looks like it might be some sort of insert. Gem Mint Tan Fearless. Same series, the 2019 Panini Prism. That's outstanding. He's going to be pretty wrapped with that. I think four tens and three or four nines. That is a pretty solid return. Now we've got Ty's cards. Ty's gone with some absolute rippers here. Uh, what have we got? We've got Tops LeBron James. Looks to be a rookie card. So this is going to be pretty cool. Let's have a look at what it is. Mint 9. Oh, this is the Bazooka. The Bazooka White Home Jersey Gold. Mint 9. Outstanding. He's going to be pretty stoked with that. Uh, Steph Curry. Oh, this is a Steph Curry rookie. Steph Curry rookie. Looks to be upper deck. Wow. Seventh player drafted overall. And... Gem Mint 10. Ooh, Ty. Sensational, mate. You're going to be pretty wrapped with that. Back into some Kobe's. This looks like a Kobe rookie card, I reckon, from the back. Yep. The prestigious Tops 138. What have we got? Mint 9. Outstanding. Mate, That's you're going to be pretty wrapped with that. Um, this is back into LeBron rookie territory again. And I, is this the, is this, let's just flip it over and find out. The other bazooka, the red bazooka. Yep, mint nine. Man, that is some, uh, some pretty nice returns there. And back into Steph Curry. Steph Curry in Panini. Is this another rookie card? Yes, it is. And a gem mint 10, the, the rookie challenge. Damn. And then we have got a LeBron James. This looks to be a later one. I think 06, 07. Something like that. Finest Refractor Gem Mint 10. Ty, pretty happy with those, mate. Uh, <laughs> you don't often get all 9s and 10s in that sort of quality card. So that's, uh, that is absolutely something to be very, very happy with. And... I'll get these bad boys posted out in the week. Mark, as we know Mark, serial punter Mark, loves his cards. And he has got a big stack of cards to my right here. We'll kick it off with the Kobe Bryant. I don't know what year that is because I can't. It's 2007. 2006 Tops Luxury Box near Mint. That's a serial number. You can see there, guys, that is a serial number. I can't quite see the numbers there. Too much light. 88 of 499. Nice. Michael Jordan. Everyone loves a mic. What have we got here? I reckon this is a metal. Gem Mint 10. Outstanding, Mark. You're going to be very happy with that, mate. 95 metal. That is outstanding. The metal series, obviously, one of the best inserts of the 90s. Kobe Bryant. Skybox. 99X. EX Mint 9. Look at that. That has got some colour through it. Sensational. And into Kobe Bryant. This is a rookie card. This is, by the looks of it, the Skybox Premium. Really nice looking card, this one. And we've got a Mint 9. Got a, it's been a pretty good return so far, guys. If you notice, some solid results all across the board. Back into Kobe again. Rookie Encore. And we've got another Mint 9. That's the Ultra, the Fleer Ultra rookie card. Outstanding. All right, what have we got? Kevin Durant. This looks like a 1920 USA Mosaic. Yep. Jam Mint 10. That looks like the Gen Genesis. Phenomenal. All right, back into Kobe rookies again. This looks like the Z Force. I've got this one. This looks like a... 
one that I know very well. And what did we get? A mint seven. That's a really difficult card to grade. Well, in my got the last one I got was a was a I've graded this one about four or five times. Highest I've ever got uh, was a nine. Um, I've received two eights, two sevens, and a six. Um, just a difficult card. Even when they look really, really good, that particular year is difficult to grade for some reason. Some cards just are. You'll notice that the more you grade the same card over and over again. The Z Force Kobe is definitely one of them. Um, and I think it's because it's the border reference points for the graders are difficult. That's what I think. Uh, what have we got here? Mike Jordan. And this is another 90s gem. 95, Mint 9. That's the Skybox EXL Blue. That is a sick card. All right, keeping on the Jordan train here. This looks like finest, top's finest, the top's finest ones. Another great insert for the 90s, the top's finest. They were fantastic. Um, look at that, Mint 8. That, that's another one that's difficult to grade. I've graded a bunch of these, Mike, the Michael ones, and... Uh, Hard to find them in good condition, one. And two, They a lot of the time the centering's off or something like that, even when they're really, really good condition. Um, still a great return on an eight. All right, on the Jordan train, what do we get this time? Mint nine, the GL1 Tops Gold Label. That is a very, very nice card. Pretty happy punters here today. And we've got Jordan again. This is a Tops Finest Mystery. The 95, a seven. You can see the centering off there, but that's, you can see there, that's in, that is in super condition though. Pretty happy with a seven. The, the top's finest ones are difficult to grade. They just are. Uh, a lot of the time they have those peels on the front, the peeling, the coating. Uh, two more cards here, we'll bring it home. Mike Jordan, upper deck, mint nine, SPX 03. And you can see there, nice little hologram there in the back. All right, guys, let's bring this home strong. We've got a Michael Jordan. This is a Mint 7, Tops Finest 96 Maestros. Beautiful card, that. But, yeah, there's a little, little bit of centering off. I think that's probably the main issue with that. Centering the surface looks pretty good. All right, that is it for today, guys. We'll have these bad boys posted out this week, so hold on to your horses and... Uh, Wait for your cards in the mail. That's it for, for today. We'll see you soon. Peace.